Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real tonight in my kitchen. Welcome. I'm going to cook some steak. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to season these New York strip and ribeyes. There's a million ways to season them. I'm going to put some, I put some garlic powder, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of this sweet soy sauce. So I'll have plenty of salt. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter in a black iron skillet, and I'm going to cook them in the black iron skillet. This is not for you, sister. No, ma'am. Let me bring y'all over here. Okay. Let me get y'all where you can see. I'm gonna turn my skillet on high. There we go. Watch out, bro. Yep. Turn my skillet on high. Let this butter melt. You can season with herbs. You can season them with dry rub. You can make a dry rub. You can put some herbs in some butter and use that as well. I've got some basil, I've got some rosemary, and I've got some um, oregano. I'm going to give that a rough chop. Get that. I don't trust her right there. Cookie's in the kitchen with me too. Cookie, the cooking, Cocker Spaniel. Is that right, girl? I picked these out of the garden day before yesterday and put them in a um, base or a mason jar with some water. Made a tent for the basil. It has to have like a tent over top of it. with fresh herbs you know the smell of that when you start chopping it up is wonderful get my butter evenly dispersed here and a little piece of the wrapper from the butter okay so once this gets hot, I'm going to sear these bad boys. And everybody likes theirs a little different as far as medium, medium rare, medium well, or well. I'm not going to crowd my pan. I'm going to put a little more black pepper. And I'm going to sear these. And I'm going to add some herbs to mine. This looks good. You get a good sear here. Just a few minutes on this high heat in this black iron skillet will do the trick. I like mine medium well or medium. I like a little pink in the center. If you're talking about a cut of prime rib, I like mine medium rare. So it just depends on what cut of meat you're talking about as to how I would want mine cooked. This is how we're gonna cook these tonight. You can use a meat thermometer if you like you know, to see the middle of them, what, what doneness you want to it. I'm just going to sear these just like this, okay?
my husband is having shoulder surgery tomorrow, and so I told him I would fix steak where he'll be able to cut it for himself. It'll probably be four or five weeks before he can cut anything with his right arm because it'll be, you know, tied to him like this. So I decided to do steaks tonight and just some baked potatoes and a little salad. But these steaks are going to be yummy and flavorful and buttery. You could use olive oil if you'd like, but I like the butter flavor. I'm going to cover that for about one minute, and then I'm going to take that lid off, turn these babies over, cook them for about seven to eight more minutes, and then I will see what the doneness looks like in them. And if they're not done to our liking, I will pop them into the oven on 450 and let them cook just a few more minutes. And then I'll wrap it up in tinfoil and keep them warm till they get home, till the farmers come home. This is what we're having. Let me give myself a minute or so. See how the blood's pooling on one side of it? I'm going to turn these bad boys over. That fat on there will give them really good flavor. And then to this side, I'm going to add some pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little more herbs to mine. I love fresh herbs in the summertime. This would be good cooked with sauteed onions as well. My guys are not onion eaters, so I won't be doing that with mine. I'm gonna give that a cover. And I'm gonna let that cook for about four or five minutes, and then I'll check it for doneness. I'll post a picture and I'll also make a comment in the comments once I post the video. But that's what we're having pre-surgical tonight is some ribeyes and some New York strips, baked potato and salad. As always, thank you for tuning in to Cooking Cutting Up, Keeping It Real. And we'll be keeping it real here. Yes, we will. Prayers for my husband will be appreciated. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.